Police believe the remains of Morgan Harris and Mercedes Myron are somewhere in this landfill, but have said a search is not feasible. The women are believed to have been killed by the same serial killer. Their families and the broader community have been pushing back against the Winnipeg police and demanding a search. And let's bring in Cameron McIntosh. Cam, the Premier still isn't promising that the search is going to happen. No, she's not, but it's hard to imagine some sort of search not happening now that the AMC has been put in charge of this. They've been pushing for a search, and as much as this is about two women, it's also political. For years, Indigenous leaders have been accusing governments and police services across Canada of treating vulnerable Indigenous women as disposable. Bodies in a landfill is a representation of that. A search would draw a lot of attention to the issue. AMC Grand Chief Kathy Merrick spoke to that earlier. It is not only an Indigenous problem. It's not only for Indigenous people. It's for Manitobans and so also for all Canadians that they, they be able to hear and that they be able to see what happens in the province of Manitoba. Next week, the AMC will sit down with the city of Winnipeg, the province of Manitoba, the government of Canada and the Winnipeg Police Service to figure out what's feasible. But, but big challenges ahead, Cam. Yeah, two things in successful landfill searches that experts tell us generally point to success, and that is time and a starting point. In this case, seven months have passed, and there's no real starting point because there's no dumping records. They literally don't know where to look on a four-acre site. So, yes, it's daunting going forward. All right, Cameron, thank you.